Hey, hello! Today we're going to do a tool animation uh, tutorial. Before we start, uh, you need uh, a plugin called Moon Animator uh, so we can an create animations, use the character inserter so we can insert dummies, uh, and use the we're going to use the Easy Weld system which uh, to weld all the parts for your tool together. Uh, so yeah, th that's all you need. I'm going to leave the Moon Animator plugin link in the description. Also, a link to the uh, main uh, dev forum tutorial, which this is based on, except the parts when that where the animation comes in. The, that's going to be on my part. Uh, and yeah, if you would like to follow that tutorial too, you can find it in the description. So I expect you to already have a tool made. And we're going to work around that. So uh, I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to make, for example, a sword or a gun that's going to be on your side. So you want to grab your tool and make sure that all the parts are clean. So, for example, uh, it isn't a mess. So uh, make sure everything is nice and uh, uh, set up. I'm going. I used unions for that. So inside, you don't have. Uh, uh, like mo multiple, uh, if you have multiple parts inside, like this, you're going to need to. You can simply just rig, click on blade, so like that, and rig it. But uh, in this, we're not going to do that. Uh, so grab your. Well, yeah. If you, if you have, actually, like for example, parts inside, make sure to. Then click on the easy weld, disable animatable, and then click on make sure the base part is the main the main part, and then select the other part by holding control, and then click on join in place, and then you this part gets welded to that part if you have multiple parts inside of each other. So I'm not I don't have that, so I'm not gonna do that. So inside of your tool, you want to create something called a body attach. That's going to be at the location you want an uh, your player to hold the tool. So I want my player to hold the uh, tool here, so I put my body attach over there. So I'm just going to turn body transparency on one, so it's not visible. And now I'm going to weld all these parts to the body attach. So I'm going to open Easy Weld, disable animatable, select body attach, and then select all the other parts. Click join in place, and now all the parts are welded together. Now we're going to open the server script service and create a script inside of it. Inside of the server script, uh, inside of it, we're going to create a, a welding script which creates a motor 6D part inside of the player when it, they join so that the tool is animatable. So I already have my script here, you can simply copy it. This uh, is going to be set on the right arm, which is, I expect you to also use it. If you don't use it, you can simply, if you like left arm, you can just select left arm. It's, uh, it's not that difficult, but I'm going to use right arm. Uh, uh, what this script does is once the player joins the game, inside of the right arm is a, a Moto 6D is going to be made and the part zero of the motor 6d is going to be the right arm and the part one is going to be the body attach because those are the parts uh that are needed to you're gonna make sure this is this must stay at body attach if you, this is not body attach part one then uh you, it won't work uh so now we're going to uh do the animations so uh in order to uh have custom animations you want to press play and once you join open workspace and go to your name open it and find the animate local script and copy it and you can click on stop and then just go to the Scroll down to the starter player, open it, go to start a character script, and paste it into it. This is going to be your default animation pack. So when you you can have your when the player joins, 
he's going to play uh, for example new custom idle animation sure just change uh, just change this ID for your animation and when he's when he's gonna join he's gonna play that animation when he's in I when he's not walking or doing anything uh, and so we're gonna duplicate this and give it a different name I'm gonna call it sword a you can color whatever you want but I'm going to call it sword a and inside of the sword a is going to be the animations for this sword for this tool so now we're going to use moon animator animator character inserter presets r6 this also works on r15 you just simply have to select r15 but we're going to use r6 now inside of the uh inside of the r r6 dummy uh we're going to go to right arm and create a modo 6 d part press the plus sign and create it then go to the part zero and select the right arm now we're going to grab your tool and grab this and put them back in workspace and group them together then drop them into the r6 dummy and then go to back to the motor 60 and part one and click on right arm oh so i'm um, sorry click on the not on right arm i'm sorry click on the body attach inside of the tool and it's going to automatically connect to the right arm now now you're done now you can start animating so you open the moon animator you go uh rig animation new rig animation and then you can create your idle animation or whatever you like on why on however you would like to hold the part like if you want to hold it like this that's fine too do whatever you like and then press five to save it and then right click it and click on save to roblox and make sure the creator says me if this game is owned by you and make sure it says it uh, if it's owned by the group make sure it says the name of the group uh, otherwise it won't work you can submit it and, and then it gets uploaded i already have my animation so i won't have to submit it uh yes uh now you go back to the sword now you go back to the sword a which is going to be the animations your sword uh is going to uh yeah it's w which is the animation your sword is going to play i already have a uh, the animations set uh let me grab them so i already have an idle animation made so i'm going to open idle go to the animation one and paste and paste it here boom so now uh, you have a idle animation but the idle animation still needs to be played and you don't have a tool yet so go back to r6 and go back to the model and simply select everything copy it and insert it back into the tool you have it and make sure the tool has requires handle turned off otherwise this won't work now go to grab your tool and put it into the starter back now inside of the tool you're going to create a local script and inside of the local script we're going to create the animation script so i already have again have one made so what this does is once well once the tool gets equipped uh make sure this is disabled your make sure your sort of uh your tool animation pack is disabled and so once the tool gets equipped the m default animations uh pack gets disabled and your sword animation pack gets enabled uh, so your custom animations play so now uh, when you join and you equip you have a fully custom idling animation and you can change you can, if you want to add a walking animation you can simply go to the walk and change this id to the walking and i uh so animation id you have and that's it that's all you need to know yeah okay uh thanks for watching and uh bye